Good afternoon and welcome to our first attempt at a beer review on YouTube. So we've been doing this for a little while on Instagram now, but we thought we'd have a go at doing it by video. So we'll see how we get on. Yeah, so we're going to have to expand a bit on what we've been talking about. So the first beer we're going to try, well, the only beer we're going to try as part of this video, is one from Amundsen and it's called Tropical Rush Rider. And it's a triple fruited pastry sour with mango, passion fruit, raspberry and marshmallow. It comes in a 440ml can and it's 5% alcohol by volume. Yeah, this is not one of what they would call their core range. It's probably a seasonal beer. They do produce various different types, mainly quite lively, strongish IPAs. Uh, and then also some uh, some barrel aged uh, dessert stouts and also some some pastry stouts as well. And Amundsen and Norwegian, aren't they, Colin? Yeah, they, they're based in uh, Oslo, I think. Um, quite a young brewery. They've only been going for about uh, 10 or 11 years, uh, but they've expanded quite rapidly. Um, I think their capacity was quite small when they started, 2011, but. Uh, I think it took them about four or five years to find another site, which was more than they'd hoped to do, and um, it's given them a sort of tenfold increase on the, the amount of beer that they can produce and store. So certainly one of the uh, the growing companies. We first tried an Amundsen um, at the 12 Taps in Whitstable, so a pub down on near the seafront in Whitstable that has 12 taps. Um, and then I guess this one probably came from Leftfield Beers. I think almost certainly, yes. So let's pour it and see what it's like. Okay, so very pretty can art, but all of the Amundsen beers are. This one in particular is quite sparkly. That's always a good thing. So a couple of cider glasses, possibly not what you're supposed to pour it into, but they do a good job. They certainly do. What colour would you say that's pouring? So that looks to me like a sort of honey coloured or a tropical fruit sort of mango sort of colour. And the head, as you can see, is dissipated quite quickly. A little bit of lacing around the edge of the glass. Let's try the other one. Certainly getting some soft tropical fruits in the aroma, even from here. There we go. Before we do that though, a small diversion. Our next upload after this was originally intended to be a walk from Vakolva to Herne Bay along the Kent coast. Unfortunately, as you'll see from the short clip that follows, the filming conditions were less than ideal. It was freezing cold and blowing a gale. We did just want to mention Bayleaf Coffee House though, which is on Mortimer Street in Herne Bay and was our saviour on that freezing cold day. We enjoyed an Americana and an oat latte along with a truly delicious vegan sausage roll and a chocolate cherry and almond slice. Definitely one we'll be returning to. So you said as you were pouring it you could smell the tropical fruit aromas already? Yeah, absolutely. Quite surprising really. Oh wow, yeah. No, they are. That's really fruity. <laughs> I I know it's a triple fruited sour, you know, kind of living up to the name, but that's really fruity. Mm. Although I'm definitely getting some of the marshmallow as well, which is softening that fruit. Mm. It's got some raspberry in it. I don't remember. I can smell raspberry. I hope it's got raspberry. It has raspberry. We're all right. <laughs> I can smell the raspberry. <laughs> And then as you said, yeah, the tropical fruit, so the mango and apparently this passion fruit. I don't think I know mm. what passion fruit smells yeah. like, so it could be passion fruit. That does smell good though. Very good. I think you really sweet. Yeah, I think sort of 
passion fruit and it's kind of like a peach sort of it's a bit of stone fruit in there as yeah, well yeah yeah and yeah it's just you've got the traces of the head just still sort of lingering around the edge of the glass if you just chip it yeah. a little bit you and can see where much. that's yeah. left on Don't the edge of the glass no that was possibly slightly over tipped but we're okay it's all still in the glass yeah. this time give it a go yeah definitely give it a go cheers cheers i like that mm. that's really soft though I think it's overwhelmingly the tropical fruits, though, more than anything else. And perhaps a little bit of med vanilla, I think, as well. Still getting the marshmallow as well, though. Mm. It's like... Oh, it's a marshmallow sweet you have. Um, flumps. Reminds me of flumps. Yes. And there's very little bitterness at all. Even though it is a sour on the, on the can, but... It's, it's yeah it's really not so if you think you don't like a sour give that a go because you will like it if you well you Definitely. may not like it but you won't dislike it just because you dislike sours no actually like, if people like try anything tropical i can't see them disliking no, that no, it's that's nice. really it's nice very, it's very very fruity but certainly there's no real there's no real sort of hoppy end or no real aftertaste no not at all that could be quite lethal, I think. Well, it's not that strong, is it? Yeah, so it's only five percent. It's a nice, refreshing drink for a, a hot sort of summer's evening. Yeah, quite fancy sitting outside. Well, at least not today. No. Mm. Yeah, I mean, normally when I think Amundsen, I do think those big, chunky stouts. I mean, we, you know, we really like the dessert in a can series, haven't we? And one of those we've disliked so far. May have carefully avoided a few flavours just because they didn't sound so great on the can, but and the ones we've had there have been really, really good. But they're so rich. You can, you know, one and you're done. That's it. They're so chunky. But, yeah, you're right. So one of those sitting outside, summer's evening, mm. salad. Perfect. Yeah, it would go down very easily, I think. Well, there's no evidence of any vanilla in the ingredients, but uh, it does mention mandarin as well. So okay, so not, not getting too much. In there. Real, there's not really too much citrus. Right? Mm, oats is quite high up the, the ingredient yeah, list, so I suppose that could be playing into vanilla. Lactose as well, so there's a there's a little bit of sweetness. Yeah, so it. that's a good note. Vegetarian, but not vegan because of the lactose. What do you think? What are you giving it out of five? Well, I say summing up, it's a very nice sort of. Gentle, um, refreshing drink um, goes down easily. I would say it's probably a solid sort of three and a half. Yeah, I'll go with that. Um, it's definitely one that I would, if I saw it, I'd definitely buy it again quite happily. Um, which I suppose therefore does make it, you know, three and a half. So had it, tried it, want it again. Yeah, I think so. So actively see, actively see. Well actively look to buy it on a web shop when there are other things available rather than settling on it when there aren't many options yeah but as i said these things are seasonal so you'll next probably, year then yeah you'll probably <laughs> find that uh, aronson would have produced several other sours various combinations of fruits and sweeteners and all, all sorts of other ingredients the, the marshmallows they do a, a tonka bean one as well which we like once we google what a tonka bean was yeah but yeah, definitely, um, definitely recommend trying this one. Yeah, it's really good. So that was Tropical Rush Rider from Amundsen. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please do give it a like and consider subscribing to our channel. We'll be back soon with another video. But in the meantime, keep well. And cheers. Cheers. cheers.